How's it going everybody? Welcome back and today I'm bringing you guys some of the best VPNs that you can get your hands on and also I'll be talking about nine things to keep in mind when looking for a good VPN. So before we begin, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find the full reviews as well as links to pricing and discounts down below. So number one, you want to look at the level of security and encryption by the VPN. Now, a good VPN should provide strong encryption to protect your data and keep it safe from hackers. And all these VPNs do offer the military grade AS 256 bit encryption. And that's why I chose them. By the way, I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three. And that's why we have Xnord and Surfshark on the screen right now. Number two, the the speed of the VPN connection because a slow VPN connection can be frustrating. So it's important to choose a VPN that offers fast speeds. And if you didn't know, when you encrypt your traffic using a VPN, it naturally slows down your speed due to the time it takes to encrypt your traffic. But of course, with a good, reliable and premium VPN using good protocols, and we'll talk about protocols later, it will minimize that drop in speed. Number three, the ability of the VPN to bypass geo restrictions if you want to use a VPN to access content that is restricted in your region. It's important to choose a VPN that is known for its ability to bypass your restrictions. So let's say I want to unblock specific streaming services. I can use any of these VPNs without fail or delay to unblock such services. Number four, the number of servers and locations available for the VPNs. Now, a larger number of servers and locations can provide more options for bypassing your restrictions and can also improve the speed of the VPN connection. So with ExpressVPN, I've got over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, over 5,000 two or 300 servers with NordVPN in 59 countries, and over 3,200 servers in 100 countries with Surfshark. So a uh, pretty good variety in each VPN. Now, number five, the availability of customer support. If you encounter any issues while using a VPN, it's important to have access to customer support who can help you resolve them. And uh, I've been extensively kind of using these VPNs for over two years, and and, um, you know, anytime I had any trouble, I would just go talk to the 24 seven live chat support available at the bottom right of each of these providers websites. And they've all been incredibly helpful. I would give exceptional credit to Express, Nord and Surfshark's customer support because I think they're all just incredibly uh, helpful and knowledgeable and amazing to work with. All right. Number six, the compatibility of the VPN with different devices and operating systems. If you want to use the VPN on multiple devices, it's important to choose a VPN that is compatible with them in all three VPNs here, again, are compatible with nearly every single modern device that you can think of. Okay, number seven, the policies of the VPN regarding data collection and logging. Now, some VPNs collect and log user data, while others have strict no logging policies. If privacy is a concern, it's important to choose a VPN with a strong no logging policy. Not only do they have to have a no logs policy, but they also need to provide evidence that they do indeed uphold the no logs policies in which they claim to have. And all three VPNs have independent audit reports proving that they do indeed care about the privacy of their users and they do not collect any information. And if I haven't mentioned this earlier, by the way, if you want to maximize your speeds, you want to make sure that you're using the best performing protocols. So that'll be the lightweight UDP protocol with ExpressVPN. That'll be the NordLynx protocol with NordVPN. And finally, the WireGuard protocol with uh, Surfshark. So make sure you're using these protocols to maximize your speed and minimize your latency. Okay. Number eight, the pricing and payment options offered by the VPN. Now, VPNs can vary in price, so it's important to choose one that fits your budget and offers payment options that are convenient for you. Number nine, the reputation of the VPN. It's a good idea to do some research and read reviews from other users before choosing a VPN. And this can provide valuable insight into the quality of the VPN and its ability to meet your needs. And of course, if you would like to learn a little bit more about these VPNs and their reputation, you'll find the full reviews down below as well as links to pricing discounts if you'd like to jump straight to that. And either way, they're all covered by a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can test drive these VPNs for 30 days risk free. Otherwise, you can simply get yourself the refund if you're not satisfied for whatever reason. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.